answer. You promised, me. Bobby. You promised Mama. You told her you would always take care of me. I can't keep that promise, DJ. I just can't. I'm sorry. James Woods plays DJ, a schizophrenic, and James Garner, his brother, trying to cope with caring for him. For the usually outspoken Woods, something of a street fighter in Hollywood, this movie was an unusual experience. It was a delight from the beginning to end. I mean, Hallmark, as you know, is, well, I don't know if you do know this or not. I mean, obviously, they're a great corporation for their business, but they are the single greatest production entity you could ever work for. They are supportive. They stay out of your way artistically. Their approvals are genuine. Their handshake is as good as gold. Um, well, those shows go back to 1950. It's yeah, a I know that. track but, record. But so I have to helps. tell you something. People with long track re records sometimes lose their way, and they are stronger than ever. And you very rarely hear me uh, espousing the charms and, and, uh, and, and qualities of of the producerial uh, mm -hmm. entity, uh, because usually they're pretty awful people. But in the case of Hallmark, for example, um, a production that could have been just another movie of the week, disease of the week, uh, piece of trash, turned out to be, f for my taste, one of the finest pieces of television ever produced. And I think, finally, one of the greatest pieces of, of cinematic art produced in this country in years and years. I mean, I nothing to do with my involvement. I mean, I'm just saying, as an objective observer, the commitment was extraordinary on their part, and, and it made a big difference. So it doesn't always have to be blood and guts. You know, mm -hmm. I wish it were more like it were working for Hallmark. I wish they produced everything I ever did. You know? Promise won Woods a Best Actor Emmy and a Golden Globe. And for everyone who's seen this performance, its quiet understatement is unforgettable. It's like all the electric wires in the house are plugged into my brain. And everyone has a different noise, so I can't think. Some of the wires have voices in them, and they tell me things like what to do and that people are watching me. And apparently you've heard from a lot of viewers. Yeah, there was a lot of support, and I think a lot of, a lot of people felt that we had reached out to them, really from our hearts, which we did. I mean, it was really a heartfelt venture, and I think they responded by saying that they were touched, and, and, you know, and, and a lot of changes were made. I mean, a lot of people wrote and said, you know, we've, we've found, we're finding our way out of the darkness thanks to this production. I'll never leave you. I love you, DJ. You're my brother. 